Hi there, I'm Butch Hartman. And I'm Vic Mignano. And where? Not to Beach Bubble. With this guy. Who is he? <laughs> Hel- hello. Just roll thing. I think you could. In fact, I used to be a cop. I'm an L.A. cop. I'm a cop in L.A. I yeah. used to be a Did you know that you were a cop? I was I a police officer? When wow. were you a police officer? My first two years out of college, I was wow. a cop in Maryland. You were? What was that like? Officer Mignona? Yeah, that's exactly right. Did you, did you bust anybody's oh, head? Oh, I sure did. Did I, you bust heads? Oh, I sure. I, I, was, <laughs> I had a Colt 357. And no I was arrest, sworn in by the mayor. Drove my my uh, marked police, police car. Yeah, yeah, the whole works. Wow. It was. Uh, How many years were you a cop? Just two. Wow. It wasn't a career move. My mom was good friends with the chief of police. Okay. And uh, and I graduated, and uh, and I didn't have anything in particular lined up at the moment, like right out of college. Mm-hmm. So who better to be a police officer? Well, and I, you know what? And it's funny as a as an actor, I thought, wow, what a chance for some real theater, huh? <laughs> I could I could be I could be like I could play a certain kind of cop one day, and I right. could good cop. Act, yeah, cop. I could yeah. act like a, a right. jerk cop yeah. the next day and right. officer friendly the next day. And <laughs> so, uh, so it was. It was. Can a I see lot your of... license and registration, please. Exactly. Uh, Do you know you how go. fast you were going, sir? Yeah. Can you assume um, the position, please? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah exactly. And I mean, I but I, I had some very dangerous experiences as well. Well, some, sure. And uh, so it was. It, it was a really interesting um, experience, but it wasn't something I'd planned to do for a long period of time. So you're Officer Mignona to me now. You I are. could be T.J. Hooker. You could be oh. T.J. Hooker. I like. Well, I just. I love the shot in the title. He's on top of the car. Oh, he's, when he slides like, across. Yeah. He slides, he slides across the car. Then he's on top of a car. Yeah. <laughs> Fully dressed in his outfit and his cop up it was well, and you know what Shatner's like 86 years old now and he'd still do that <laughs> he would like, still do like he it. is as I mean because I, I just saw him last week at Florida Supercon right oh, yeah. he walked into the green mall and he's like Vic and I went over and mm-hmm. hugged him and uh, I mean he is as he's powerful. strong he's a and powerful man yeah and he's active like he rides horses and he I mean yeah. He is. A, he's. Yeah. He's quite a. He busts heads. He, he transmutes people like Jace into, into <laughs> other metals. Right. Other Have you told things. Vic he about went, when you met uh, William Shatner? When I met William Shatner uh, years ago, I was pitching a cartoon called Fish and Chip, and it was about a, a, a shark and a lynx who work at a bomb. I squad. love it already. Exactly. I love and we wanted. And it was a giant shark, and we wanted the shark to talk like William Shatner. So we had the brilliant idea to go get William Shatner to do the voice of, oh of, gosh, of fish. I love this. So story. we actually got an appointment with him. My my friends and I got an appointment. Two two buddies and I went to Universal Studios because he wanted to meet us. And we go in, we're like, hey, Mr. Shatter, I have my little drawing. And he's like, hi, guys, come on in. And so <laughs> but he's sitting there behind a desk and he's signing po- like a stack of Star Trek posters. He's got an assistant who's just pulling them aside yep. and signs them. Yeah. It's like, so tell me about your cartoon. <laughs> and then we're talking, well, it's, a, um, it's about a shark and a lynx. I love it. I think it's really funny. And, <laughs> and he's signing and he's signing. I said, "We want I, you to be the. We want you to be the shark. Yeah. I'll be both. He goes, yeah. <laughs> I can do but, everything. But, but I, I, can but do I both was. I, I'll be both. I'm William Shatner. And I said, "Yeah, I can help you sign some of those posters." And he looks up and he goes, "I don't think so." <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> and then, then after that, we had a second meeting with him. He wanted to have oh a second gosh, meeting. So the it. second time we went, we went to uh, Universal back again, and he was doing mm-hmm. an episode of SeaQuest. Remember that show? I do remember in the early nineties sure, called SeaQuest. Sure, sure, it was sure. Star Trek Underwater, basically, mm-hmm. and he was. Playing a bad guy, so we had to. Was go that Roy Scheider? Mm-hmm. Was, was Roy, Roy Scheider show? Roy Scheider from Jaws. From Jaws. Oh, okay. Oh, he was, the, never he was the sheriff. No, of course, I've exactly. seen. <laughs> but what's it about? Tell me. Right now. I'm giving you a frame of reference. There's like a lynx and a shark. Right? That's it. The show. Stop talking. Okay. okay <laughs> Continue. So, no, but we, we we go to William Shatner's dressing room. He's in a trailer. Come on in. And he's got a fake mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he has a fake mustache because he was playing the bad guy. He's like he's like I I want to tell you I really love this cartoon. I think it's really great. And then we couldn't do the cartoon for, for various oh, reasons, but it. we couldn't do. It. But he really was into our cartoon, yeah. So uh, I have, next we, time I see him, I'm going to have to ask him. Yeah, I, I, did you? He Bill, probably never remember. remember the shark cartoon. And they'll go like, "Oh my god, I wanted, I, I wanted, I still I dream of it, it so bad <laughs> I dream I about it. to this day." But you know what? I love him to death, and and um, I I can't even imagine you know what it would be like to to be, you know, to have created a character that. Everybody on the planet has heard of, you know. Oh, yeah, what I mean, totally. and and uh, it's been yeah. fifty. I mean, it's been fifty years. Wow. Fifty plus. Oh, it's crazy. And he is as active as he ever was. Yeah. I mean, he does the, so many events, and he he's always involved, and in, he's always got some project he was in, going. He was in two of the best Twilight Zone episodes. I've oh ever my seen. gosh! Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. The two of the the one where they, him and the girl go sit in the right? little diner with the yep. little the little machine that predicts the yep. future. Yep. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. And then the, the uh, Nightmare at Twenty Thousand. Yeah. Feet. That's probably the most iconic one. That's, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, who directed that? By the way, Mr. Richard Donner, who directed the. Oh, that's right. That's right. I know. I know geek stuff. I know some geek stuff. <laughs> but anyway, um, but Shatner, huge hero. And you know, some as I'm reading this book, 
I'm bringing it full circle here. Yes. As I'm narrating, well done, by the way. as I'm reading this audiobook and narrating it and learning all of these things, one thing that really I loved that really struck me was every single person in that time thought Shatner was the bomb. Like guest stars, actors that they would bring and be like, really? Bill Shatner was the most amazing actor and he was so funny. He had everybody on the set cracking up and, and he was so full of energy and just, you know, he was amazing. Yeah. And then like writers and directors would say, I can't believe we got William Shatner to play this role. He was a very, very well respected Shakespearean actor at the time. Oh, at the time, before Star Trek. Oh yeah, yeah. and he, okay. that's why they they were they were totally jazzed wow. that mm -hmm. they got him. So everybody that I'm reading through this book just had nothing but the most glowing things to say that's about cool. about that's him. Cool. I got to get him on this podcast. But yeah, I'll have both of you, if I get William Shatner on this podcast, you got to come oh on my with him. Gosh, him. Make, 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 <laughs> I would love both it. Captain Kirk. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say it. goodbye to Vic now. All right. Okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye, Jace. Goodbye. Goodbye, well, Jace. Really away. No, goodbye. no, I want to sell the book too because from what you're saying, like you're the biggest Star Trek fan there is. If you're learning things about this book, like if you're a Star Trek fan, it is really it. wonderful. It's yeah. really interesting. And it's stuff. called. It's called. These, These are the voyages. Are the oh, yeah, voyages. It's called? And, cool. and the, the the author Mark Cushman has written three books, one for each season of the original series. Oh, wow. So this is season one, yep. which is all about Rod. where did Gene Roddenberry come from? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he was writing for all of these shows yep. and then he pitched Star Trek and, and it got made. And so the first book is season one, second book, third cool. book are seasons two so and three. Cool.